Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Teresa Kovakama and I'm here with a very interesting video, very exciting video to inspire, to encourage, to motivate and to change lives. If I be able to change at least one person, to change his or her thinking, to change at least how he or she feel about themselves, I will be very happy. I'll be very excited. So kindly, don't move an inch. Let's move together. And kindly, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. Let us grow together. Share with your friends if you love my content. And uh, drop, drop a comment. Yeah, I'm sure you've done so. So, thank you very much. First of all, I'm a mother of four children. Thanks to God. Yeah, it is amazing. But there are somewhere along the way I lost it. When you want to be the best wife, you want to be the best mother, you want to be perfect. That was me. I came to realize that I lost myself in the process of making other people comfortable. But I don't know how. I didn't have enough time for me. I don't know who to blame, but I didn't know how to take care of myself. All I knew was, you know, making my family, making myself the best wife, you know, and making myself the best mother. But in the process, I lost it. How sad. I know I'm not alone. If you are there and you have been, you know, you have gone through all this, come, sit down and don't move because I'm going to share my story and I am sure it's going to change so many people's stories, especially women. Now this is how it started. I delivered my first baby, I added. My second baby, I added. My third baby, I added. And my fourth baby, added. By the time I knew it, it had already gotten out of hand. I didn't know what to do. From 70 kgs to 97, almost 100. It gave me a terrible headache. And the worst part about this, it's very hard for people to tell you that you know, you're fat or you're becoming fat. But I felt it. I couldn't walk, you know, properly. I couldn't exercise. The only thing I could do was swimming. But you see, sometimes due to weather, you're not able to. And again, uh, you know, it takes a lot of time to prepare to go for swimming, especially when you don't have a swimming pool around your compound or around your area. So it's another task. So it wasn't that easy for me. So this is where it gets interesting and sad, irritating, annoying, you know, uh, frustrating, uh, disappointing, all of them. But I then what it happened. And this is my personal story. One day, we had a very heated argument with my husband. There is something I kept on complaining and telling him, I am not comfortable, kindly change, I am not comfortable, please change, I am not comfortable. Then he couldn't hear me, he couldn't change. So that day, my dear husband told me, uh, Teresa, I'm going to skip some, you know, some words because they were hurtful. I don't want to repeat them. But, but he told me that it was, it was time. I'm going to repeat the words. Teresa, it's time you adjust. What does adjust mean? That, yeah, actually he said, I am not ready to change anytime soon. <laughs> I am not ready. I am not ready to change anytime soon. So it's time you adjust. Hmm. Adjust. That word adjust hit me badly. True story. I almost committed suicide. I felt so bad. I was hurt because I was praying and praying because it was something that was irritating, that was annoying. You know, it always made me mad and angry. But that moment, instead of at least having some hope that he was going to change, he told me that it was time I adjust. Oh my God. It was so hurting. It was painful. I don't, I don't have power to explain. But thank God, my husband, I love you so much. Thank you for that day. Thank you for telling me that because that is the moment I 
sat down i cried myself out and then it was time to pick my broken pieces mend them together i crawled i stood up i staggered i stood i walked and i ran until where i am today that single word adjust thank you so much my husband from the bottom of my heart god made you say that to me because it changed my life and i started seeing my life differently after crying this about i just uh you know washed my face and looked myself in the mirror and for the first time in a very long time i hated what i saw in the mirror That was not the woman I wanted to be when I was single, when I wasn't married, when I didn't have kids. That was not even closer to the woman I wanted to be. And yes, instead of wanting to commit suicide, I looked direct at the image in the mirror and I talked to that image. And I said to myself, Teresa, you're not going to die. Teresa, this is not the woman you wanted to be you need to change and then the word adjusting kept on echoing in my mind I talked to that image and I told myself Teresa we are going to adjust thank God for that thank God for that thank you my husband for that because if you didn't say that it couldn't have pushed me harder to start to to, to start working on myself and for one moment I started thinking about my life for one moment I started thinking about the 10 years that I was in marriage the only thing I was doing was to be a wife and be a mother and too bad that nobody told me that Teresa you need to take care of yourself Teresa for these guys to be happy you must be happy for you to make them you know look good you have to look good first so that the same energy you just appreciate yourself are we together so far Am I talking to somebody, women and men? Before you start treating other people, just treat yourself. Before you start loving other people, no matter what, kindly have your me time. Start loving yourself and you start appreciating yourself. That is where we go wrong, especially when we get married. We feel like it is our duty to make the other person or the kids happy. We tend to forget about ourselves and then it comes a time when you feel like you've lost everything and especially when you start adding weight and feel like everything is gone and there is nothing as painful as losing yourself in the process of pleasing other people. To tell you the truth, they will not treat you as you wish. You should be your number one fan. This is something that our aunts never told us something that i'm not even sure what the counselors tells us we all we know is uh, you know we, have, we get married we start giving birth and that is it and that is the reason we see so many women out there the moment they get married they start you know they start giving birth everything changes kindly listen to me if you're there very desperate Pitting yourself, stand up, shake off. Even if it is to crawl, just crawl as long as you're crawling ahead. You're not going backwards. And very soon, you're going to be there. And that is the reason I am here. That is the reason because I felt like I needed to share my story. There's so many people, men and women, who are suffering and they don't know how to get out of this. Uh, and that is how I added my weight and I kept on piling and piling and piling and no one told me, Teresa, you need to do something about your, your weight. Until that day of adjusting, I adjusted. I started adjusting and yes, this woman, no, this girl you're seeing right now is a true testimony of what self-esteem can do to you. Thank God, I adjusted. Immediately, I realized the woman I have become. And I heard that woman and I decided to start working on myself. Have you 
ever realized that when you're big bodied, you don't wear what you like. You wear what can fit you. Have you ever liked a cloth, maybe online or you know anywhere? Or maybe you go to buy clothes, but they cannot fit. Your arms are too big for that for the cloth that you want. I know you are I know you are there. Please, you can do it if I did it. Kindly you can do it if I did it. The woman, sorry, the girl, the girl you are seeing, the girl you are watching right now, was there just one year ago. Hopeless, helpless, low self-esteem, lack of confidence. Here I am. Yes, because of that adjusting, I've become someone who proudly holds other people, men and women, to get out of that weight, you know, bondage and build their confidence and make them enjoy life again. So please, if you're there, can you stop pitying yourself? It is time to stand, shake off, start moving. Even if it means you crawl, as long as you're crawling ahead and forward and not backwards, you'll be somewhere. Just decide. It is, you know, that moment you say enough is enough. I'm going to do it right now. And if it is not now, it's now. Stop feeling bad about yourself. You're not going to spend any money. The only thing that you need is discipline. If there is nothing that is pushing you and pushing you harder, this is your time. Just turn and say enough is enough. Say, I'm going to do it. If I did it, you're going to do it. Right now, I am happy. Every time I just pose, you know, for a selfie, I'm a lover of photos and selfies, and you know, recording some videos. Every time I pose for a photo, whether professional photos, whether selfie, whether what, I have a lot of confidence because this is not the woman I used to pity. This is the woman I love and I have become obsessed. But badly obsessed, not in a bad way. I love it. I love myself more. I cannot take myself back to where I used to pity party, you know. I am here and I don't want to move from here. If anything, I want to be better as time goes. And how I pray that I will be aging aggressively. Hmm? Kindly join me if you are there. If you have been told something that was hurtful, it is time to use those stones as stepping stones to build yourself a mansion, to build back your confidence, to gain back your self esteem, and you start facing a new day every day with a lot of confidence. Nothing is hard. I did it. You can do it. In my next video, I'm going to take you through on how I was able to regain my body, to regain my, you know, self-respect, to regain my self-esteem, to regain my confidence. If I'm here doing this, it is for you. Stand and say enough is enough. Remember, time is now. If it's not now, it's right, right now. If I did it, you're going to do it. Once again, thank you very much and may God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. It means a lot to me. Kindly help me grow. Let us grow together. Thank you so much and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.